Yo, what is going on YouTube? Llama here, and we've got some UFC 5. So this is the first fight here in my career mode, using Bo Nickel. Now, why Bo Nickel, you'll ask? I honestly have no clue, so I was going in to do a career mode. I usually import a fighter for the first time. I didn't really want to create my own. I just wanted to kind of play the game. Um, looking at the roster, I saw Welterweight, and I was like, oh, Bo Nickel's in here. Why not? I usually, um, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I usually, the first career I do in these games, I'll usually use, like, Habib or a really good wrestler, but I was like... I got a better roster here, so let's mix it up. So the first fight is this little outdoor one in a cage. It's kind of a uh, throwback to some street fights. Shout out to uh, Kimbo Slice. His weren't in a cage, but he uh, kind of started off the uh, YouTube MMA street fight thing. So a um, little bit has changed from UFC 4 to UFC 5. Now UFC 4, I really didn't like it all. The career mode had a lot of problems with it. Um, the biggest one for me, honestly, was the time in between fights. Now, you would have to spar each time, and it would be like two minutes and just take forever. Um, USC 5 does a really cool thing now. Here you can see they have a new knockout camera. Um, they did a few things. The knockout camera that cuts, I'll get into in a minute here. But uh, for the career mode, once you do a challenge, like say I do a grappling challenge where it's like block strikes, land, or uh, grappling challenge, I'm freaking retarded. <laughs> say I do a boxing challenge where it's like block five strikes, land 10 hooks, land 10 jabs. Um, I'll get an A, B, C, or D on that grade, depending on how well I do, and I'll say I get an A. Um, the next time that challenge comes up, I can just simulate it so I don't have to keep doing the same challenges from fight to fight. Um, each category, like boxing, um, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, and wrestling, all have probably like four or five different challenges. You have to beat probably like 20 challenges, but after you do that, you can simulate. So that was my big gripe with UFC 4, the career mode. In between fights, which is so boring and took forever, um, they kind of improved on UFC 4. Um, UFC 3 had a really good career mode where you can just kind of like simulate, so they brought that back. Um, I actually enjoyed UFC 3's career way more than 4. I was playing that uh, a few days before this game came out, but um, they changed the striking up a little bit. I actually like the new controls. I wasn't sure what they were the first few games. That's why I actually didn't know how to take anybody down. Um, didn't know how to take him down and didn't know how to clinch. Like I said, I was used to the UFC 3 controls, but uh, takedowns feel really good. Clinch feels really good. Um, I'm a fan of the new striking. You pretty much will hold the L1 button down to uh, throw hooks. Just um, A and X for straight jabs, but hooks hold L1 down. Uh, for uppercuts, you hold R1 down, and then depending on which hand you want to throw it with. Uh, most of the other con controls are the same. They did really improve the grappling, so one of my big problems with UFC 4 was honestly just how easy the grappling was. Once you got somebody in a choke position with that little circle, it was just freaking ridiculously easy. Like, play, even playing on the hardest difficulty in this game, you could just pretty much choke anybody out. So, I would honestly not go for submissions in that game. It just kind of ruined it. It's like, I kind of want a little bit of a challenge. So, why why is this game this easy, even on the hardest difficulties? Um, they fixed that now. And if I get a choke here, you guys can see it. But you just pretty much just uh, try to switch positions. So, um, I like how they did it. It's less... Um, I don't know, it's just less cheap. It was very stupid how they had the chokes in the last game. I did kind of like how they had the joint locks where you had that little uh, L2 and R2 that you had to switch to. They don't have that anymore, so all the submissions are the same. Um, because I don't think I get a submission here, but you can see, trying out different controls. Do you like that little knee from the, uh, the clinch there? And then we get on the ground. The ground game, I will say, is very much improved over UFC 4. Um, really enjoying the ground game, actually. Anytime I used to get somebody on the ground in previous UFC games, I would kind of just hold side control. Wait from the tire out and just elbow him in the face. This one is actually fun to get in a full mount. Uh, different grappling positions and scrambles. Uh, Neon Belly is a good one too. So really enjoying this game so far. Um, I did buy the special edition, which was like 90 bucks or something with EA access. You get a couple um, exclusive fighters. Like I think Mike Tyson is in there. Muhammad Ali is in there. Um, saw people complaining that they don't have their own fighter model. Like pretty much, I think like Ali is. Uh, he kind of uses like Nick Diaz, same exact skill set, but it's like, oh, whatever. So here you can see once I get to this arm bar, I'll pretty much just push up again on the arm bar, and he will either tap out or he can escape. I actually lost my first fight because I didn't know how to escape out of the uh, <laughs> out of the submission, so it's kind of embarrassing, but pretty much you'll start out, you'll have a few backyard fights, and then these like little carnival festival fights, same as UFC 4. You'll get a shot on Dana White's Contender Series. And if you win that, you go right to the UFC. I actually lost that because I didn't know how to defend submissions because I am uh, straight retarded. Also very high when I was playing this game last night, but I uh, didn't know how to defend him. So my guy uh, ended up going to the uh, LFA. So Bo Nickel had like six fights in the LFA, which actually let my stats get a little bit good. So uh, my dude's in the UFC now. I keep saying my dude like it's not actually an actual fighter, but uh, our boy Bo is in the UFC now, and he's like a three-star out of five. That is one thing I wish they would have fixed. Like, why five-star ratings? It's so stupid. Just give us ten-star ratings, but um, 
they didn't change that, so uh, player overalls is based out of five. And then there you can see, like I said, I do like the uh, the new striking animation. It took me a while to get used to it. Another thing here is I am awful with southpaw fighters. So I, uh, I don't know if I switched stances a lot this fight, but I've been doing that just to get kind of like a normal stance. Um, definitely helped me learn the controls. So that's one thing. Like with the new controls, I'll say if you're not good with southpaw, um, pick a guy who's got a normal stance. I actually didn't know those stance when I picked him. I was just like, it seems like a cool name, so I'll pick him. There you can see, was that a little uppercut knockout? That guy just got dropped there, so uh, fun little KO there. And here is the new screen where it'll like show the uh, slow-mos of the knockouts. Another thing you have is the cuts too, you can see they're very cut open. Um, cuts is actually a new stat in your little health bar. Little... Alright, what's up everybody? So my uh, audio recording just stopped, the video actually just ended, so... Thanks for watching guys, like I said, um, it's kind of high when I was playing this game last night, it's not the greatest. Uh, gameplay and learning the new controls, but I will upload some more videos. I'm actually going to continue with my career with uh, our boy Bo Nickel here. I might start a new one and do some live commentary on it, but I um, just wanted to get something up. Like I said, is this game worth the money? I'm having fun with it so far. If you're a UFC fan, it's pretty fun, but I've only played like an hour, two hours so far, so quick little review of the game, and I will have way more videos to come, so thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Alright. Peace.